so welcome to our spring boot course in in the in the in the module one we created a spring boot application using uh, it, it was a plain maven application right and then we keep on building the different uh, components of our web application in this uh, lesson what i'm going to do is i'm going to give you the different options where uh, rather than going into that long path there are a certain set of tools which you can use to quickly create your spring boot structure right you don't have to get with all the steps right so let's quickly check on those things and then you can uh, you can make a choice which is the right path or which is where what is the path where you are more comfortable with it okay so one of the easiest way is that there is a service available from the spring uh, uh, or the pivotal team uh, this is a start.spring.io it's a web application uh, what you can do is you just heads to start.spring.io this will present to you a, a interface where you can create your spring boot project right there are a couple of things for example what kind of a project you want to create whether you want to create a maven or your gradle project uh, uh, do you want to use a java kotlin groupy and what is the spring boot version you want to use right these are the basic choice uh, apart from these choices uh, all you have to do is to make sure okay you you are defining a group you have to define the artifact because those are required for your maven project right if i'm choosing it a gradle uh, these are the basic uh, requirement even for the gradle project okay i will still uh, be with the gradle and now these are the set of the dependencies if you remember uh, we created a web application and then we said okay i need a web starter for my application so this is the way uh, like i can write a web and then it will say okay these are the different web options for me i because we created a web application we can choose that web application if you really not sure what are the options like if you want to create a web application right there may be other things which you want to keep into mind right so if you want to have all those uh, the the list of the configurations click on to the switch to full version and then you have all the details along with some some other parts like um, your description what is the kind of a packaging the default one is jar uh, what is the java version you will be using eight is the minimum as i i said in the initial lesson uh you won't be able to create this this is the minimal supported version right uh you have to go with 8 or 8 plus these are the different kind of uh, configurations or the starters which provide spring provides you out of the box so what does that mean is if you choose a web all the required dependencies for your web web applications will be uh, taken care by the spring okay if you choose to be the reactive web all the uh, the reactive uh, configurations uh, and and other things will be uh, chosen for uh, by the spring for you okay these are the other thing for example if you want to enable the spring security you just have to click this one and all the required things will be put in place uh, similarly there are uh, they have they have kind of uh, created a different group for example these are the course then there are web uh, you probably you want to create a web application you may need a templating engine right you may need a time leaf free marker mustache you can choose any one of them okay uh, if you are working on on any of the jp technologies we, probably you may have to add certain uh, jp capabilities here uh, you want to use a mysql driver so all these kind of uh, different things right these are different integrations right you can choose those one and uh, what is going to happen the moment you choose all those things you create on a generate project uh, button it is going to create a maven or a gradle project and will download that projects to your uh, to your machine okay in, that will be in a gif format to give you an idea i'm going to switch back to the see capture I will keep it as a demo okay and now i'm going to say web if you click onto the generate if you see it created a gif for me and here we go if i unarchive it it's nothing but a maven project and now you can always uh 
you have all the way where you can uh, basically import this. Uh, uh, it's an independent one. You can use uh, uh, IntelliJ. You can always use Eclipse and all those things. Okay, this is one way of creating a, a ready to use Spring Boot uh, uh, structure or the artifact. Right. Another way is most of the IDs, whether it's an IntelliJ or it's an Eclipse, they have a built-in integration with the start.spring.io. So what does that mean is uh, they have you basically follow their wizard and then they will guide you through the similar kind of interface where you can choose the different things and uh, uh, the project structure will be created uh, for you if you are using uh, IntelliJ so my recommendation is I already have a very detailed uh, tutorial how you can create a Spring Boot application using, using IntelliJ with all the different uh, steps and the screens how you can create a ready to use your Spring Boot application uh, a similar kind of uh, architecture or the similar kind of uh, this uh, wizard mechanism is available onto the uh, Eclipse as well as onto the Spring STS. Just uh, read their documentation and you should be good to go. If there are an, one other option where you can use the command line to create uh, the your Spring Boot uh, structure, again, you have to call the star.spring.io uh, service in order to uh, create your Spring Boot project. All you have to do is to pass on the different information and then uh, based upon those information, you will be uh, getting back response from the service. Okay, let's see how we can do that. All you have to do is to send a curl request to star.spring.io. This is the name of my uh, project for now. What I'm saying is, okay, I need the dependencies when I'm saying I'm going to create a web. If you want to pass on the different dependencies, all you have to do is to pass on the comma separated values of those dependencies. Okay. For example, I also want a dev tool. So what I'm going to say is dev tools. Okay. And so on, you can always pass on the comma separated values. For now, I'm just going to keep it as a web. And then the next one is you need to uh, tell the API that, okay, which is the Spring Boot version you want to use. Currently 2.1.0 is the latest one. I'm going to use it. For example, if you are working on some different version, all you have to do is to make sure that you are passing the right version to the Spring. So you run that command and you have uh, uh, the, your project is created uh, on your system. The only thing you have to be careful is that uh, if you don't pass the location while you are doing this, it, the project will be created into your uh, current directory. So, okay, so let's see how this is going to look like. My project structure look like. Okay, so if I open this one, unarchive this, you can see I have a ready to use uh, the Spring Boot project. Okay. So these are the different options. Uh, as I said, uh, there is no hard and fast rule. Uh, there is nothing like this is better than this. It's all depend upon your personal preferences. Uh, for example, for me, I always use the uh, the built-in uh, uh, the wizard of my ID. Uh, but if you want to have a better visibility, if you want to use their uh, the web UI, you you can do it. If you are a command line person, go ahead, just use your command line. All right.